Gold panning in the United Kingdom takes you to some fantastic places and it's all about the great outdoors. Being with friends and family or sometimes just on your own. We can die for it and other times you're with your best mate. And on this trip we're back at the English River where I have found some gold. But how rare is English gold? Well let's have a look how much gold I've actually found at this river after so many trips. And like I always say it adds up at the end of the day. So people come and join me for one more trip down to this fantastic river. Well hello and welcome to another episode of Mr Das P1's Gold Rush and there is no gold rush and I'm back at the river in England and I'm out with the boy over there he's had a sleep and he's been in the water and, and I found some bedrock and you can see where we've got some quite large boulders dropping out a crevice there there was nothing in that and a few specks of gold lying around here and here are just a few samples of rocks that are found amongst the gravels and we have mineralization going on. And so today I won't be sluicing, I'll just be using the pans and going through gravels, looking in the crevices and seeing what we can find. So what I'm interested in at the moment and if you do watch my videos, it's normally about finding bedrock and getting into the cracks and crevices. That's the kind of stuff where I'm finding the specks of gold. So we break it up into sediment and it will settle in the bottom of the pan. Well, we've got some English gold. I'm well over the moon. So let's have a look. You can see there we've got the lighter colour materials. Wash them back. Then the darker materials are staying at the top of the pan up here. Give it a little tap. Then we can reveal all of the black sands. And there's a piece of gold shining at the top. If you can see it with a GoPro, that is excellent. Two pieces. Lovely black sand and two really nice shiny bright pieces of English gold. That is fantastic. Well we've still got restrictions. I can't go to Wales or Scotland yet. I'm following my recent trip to Pythorn Brook where we tried to bust a myth about gold in my local hills. Well, we found one diddy diddy speck, but today that's my first pan and I've found two specks already that are visible. Fantastic. And if you're new to gold panning, welcome aboard. This is the home of my channel, I call it Gold Rush UK. There is no gold rush, it's just a bit of fun. And you'll need one of these. It's called a snuffer bottle and the idea is anything you find, you suck up with that and you have a look at it when you get back home. So straight away, let's get all that snuffered up. Anyway, 
I'm feeling peckish and he's telling me it's time for something to eat. Is that good? You got it? <laughs> and so while he gets his dinner, I'm on my new favourite, crab sticks with jalapeno coleslaw. Delicious. Mm. Yeah. And a nice cup of coffee. Cheers. Now he thinks there's something else in there for him, but it's not. These are my crisps. These are my lad. He's got some cheek, hasn't he? I don't eat any of his dinner. there, sort out any pebbles, they can go, wash any rocks away, break it down with your hands and then keep wearing your hat because there's no hairdressers open and this bonnet is getting a bit curly for my liking. going to get dirty and you might get wet but I think you've heard that before somewhere who is it Jeff Williams that's one of his catchphrases now he is a top top YouTube prospector don't need that don't need that
always keep an eye in your pan because you never know sometimes the gold might just want to float out of your pan although it's heavy it can float I think we've got another speck. Yes, we have. Way! It's nothing major, but it's a speck and it's visible. Just give it a light tap and the heavies will dance all the way to the top of the pan. And there is the small speck. Just there. Now, I'll go and take a photograph now because um, some people say they can't see. Because it is super small gold, but really bright. Let's go and get a photograph and a close-up before we snuff for it up. He's enjoying the sun, but he knows there's some more food in the bag. And just looking at the flow here, there's a nice channel coming along here. The water's quite low today, and I can see this being an ideal spot in a medium kind of flood for gold to travel down. Okay, just checking in again. It's been quite some time actually, and I've gone off the gold line. There's no more gold around the sections I've tried around here, and the black sands have gone, and not even a fishing weight. So, it's a really, really fine line between being on it and off it on this section. For some to come out though, it's really warm. It's actually the uh, summer solstice today, so, there's hours and hours of daylight. Well, let's see what's in here. We'll just keep prospecting little areas that look like they may be likely spots. One more diddy diddy speck of gold. Let's have a look. Can you see that there? A super micro dot of gold. another piece snuffed up and the sun's come out because before it looked a bit touch and go with the rain I think it's cleared now and I've done that section it's time to find another place and so for the next few hours I tried all over the various outcrops of bedrock on this spot and it very quickly became clear that there was a gold line and was a very fine line where the heavies were traveling down the river okay there's no gold here but we're back on the line of some heavy material because we've got them two bits of lead there so that's a good sign and I tend not to sluice on this river because I believe the gold is trapped deep within the little micro cracks in the bedrock rather than being in some layer in the gravels and that's where test pans are key to try to find where the heavies are flowing down this river well we've definitely got heavies on this line No gold again, but another chunky piece of lead. Okay, well, I think we've gone as far as we can over there now with the various pumps because there's nothing coming through. There's another speck of lead in there um, and there's not much black sand. So it's time to call it a day there. And you've got to know when to stop it's probably at a certain layer any lower down you're wasting your time it would appear in this case well i've had to put my long sleeve on now because the midges are out it's getting late the sun's over there it goes dark at 10 o'clock now doesn't it and i've not found any more gold since way earlier on but at least we do have some in the pan so i might have one more go somewhere i'm looking around thinking a likely spot I've got one more speck in there, trust me, you won't see it, I can see it, it's super small and I don't know what mesh of gold that would be, but it'll probably fit through a tea bag, but I can see it very clearly with my eyes. And just for your reference, it's there somewhere. But I'd like to thank you all, and it's a big thumbs up from me, for watching these videos, um, I do my best, I do try. I read all my comments and I actually try and answer every one of them 
and I can see more and more people now getting interested in this fantastic hobby. So keep trying people and let me know how you get on as well. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. I've got a nice little drive home now. The dogs had a fantastic day out. We've had a picnic as well and that's what it's all about. Right, there are the lead pieces we found today. That is an interesting piece of flat lead. And then there's the gold. We've got four nice pieces, very small pieces, but it's super bright. Well, that's four more super bright yellow pieces of gold to go towards the collection. And looking at that final collection as a running total so far, it's looking pretty good. It's not epic, but that's pure English gold. And that can't be a bad thing. But anyway, we've gone past the summer solstice now, and this should be the sniping season. And I can't wait to get back into the river with my wetsuit on in search of gold under the water and for me that is the most satisfying and rewarding way to go and find gold but if you like these videos let me know and i'll keep on making them for you and thank you for watching my name is mr das p1 and if you leave a comment i'll always get back to you until the next time people <laughs>